Hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Today we are going to talk about how TB Joshua passed on to the Lord. Because a lot of people see they look at today say na mystery. Some say oh he commit suicide. You know there is something they have never said about this man mystery because in death was mystery. That very day when this man go meet the Lord, he was sound and healthy with his friends, his, the, his uh, members in the field. He was praying, talking with them. Suddenly, he left the premises and went straight to his room. That was all. And that same day, that same moment, that same hour, not, not even up to some hour later, the contact say the man don't let. The same day, where he did for garden, they talked to some of his members. So there is a documentary attached to that with an eyewitness where it's seen on that very day before the thing happened. Everything will happen that very day. This very person is seen. Good evening, everyone. As you are coming in, please give me love and like. Write something. Let me hear you. May, may I hear my people today now? Today now, weekend. Happy weekend, everyone. Please share this video. Share this video as you are coming in. Please share. Share so that more people will come in. Share this video, share this, like, write something now, write something, let me see that you people are there, let me see that you are there, as you are coming in, please write something, tell me hello, good evening, everyone, happy weekend, Today, my weekend. happy weekend, everyone. happy weekend, happy weekend to yeah, everyone, please share this video, please share this video, share as this video as yeah, as I, as I just share, share now for my side, now not the year, so <laughs> I just <they> share, <laughs> uh -huh. Victoria Bayan, welcome, Eri Odokwa, welcome, Welcome, my people. Juliet Prosper, beautiful. Welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. As you are coming, please write something. Just give me a shout out, and I will give you back a shout out with your name. As my brother advised me yesterday, Elvis Aviewo Ministry. Thank you very much. I hear you, my brother, especially. You are welcome. So, what I'm talking about is that there is somebody that was there, life and direct, the very day where this is. Sandra, you are welcome. Bosaro, you are welcome. Where this thing happened that very day. So, we need to look eh, your your full face. And now my face with this now. <laughs> you never know. You don't know my face before. Ah, you don't see me with that eyeglass. So they see me, I use eyeglass. I know makeup and I know I just they wake up from sleep. You get out my face just this. So I see me, I use eyeglass, take over the the small sleep we still remain. We are going home later when I finish this video. <laughs> Please watch this uh, share this video, guys. Share, 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 share. There is something very important that I'm going to teach us today, okay, that we are going to learn. Even as see as everything they happen, don't best tell them, I say, foreigners, they support more TB Joshua than our own people. How can show now the difference now? We now see where our people for God that sit down, condemning this man of God. Then I can show now where Oibo people for sit down, praising him. That is the difference. That is the difference. We are our own people for the condemner. We are our own people for the elevator. Now I can't see the difference. I can't see and say, oh, look, eh, a, 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 a prophet is never honored in his own land. That is why this man speak a lot about the black people going after him. His own people going after him. He has always been saying it. He never missed his word. If I go watch all the videos, everything, he has never stopped complaining about his own people. And the same his own people are still the one tormenting him even after he don't still reach his feet. You understand? So, I go show now this video. May we look this documentary together, okay? Let's watch this documentary together. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. Amos 3, 7. And he speaks in parables. Let's listen to the words of Prophet T.B. Joshua during a live service on Sunday, the 5th of October, 2014. Sunday, the 5th of October. 5th of October on Sunday, 2000 and... If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, Today is my last day on the edge. Huh? <laughs> if God has shown me, TV Joshua, today is your last day on earth. This video is 2014. Say, Praise the Lord. Today this is very video. It's not a new video. This I'll video is you, old Father, video. Okay? So that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parable. Okay, watch the screen. Just as Prophet T.B. Joshua had prophesied, when it was his last day on earth, he indeed spoke about it. 
in parables. Thank you, thank you. This was his last day on earth. This day, this person where it's time for you, is that about the sick? No. This was his last day on earth. And that very day, now you see day yes, so now you see by the same day, 5th of June 2021. You have for Jesus. Good morning. You are welcome. And for everything. Time to come here. And it's time to return home. Remember, he told them that he will tell them in parable. Many people want to be here, but they live in troubled spots. Forget them in prayer. For you to be here today is grace. No, no, listen, no, 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 listen. There is something I want us to learn in this very last day of his what life. What our nation is going through. Listen. It's only over. Amen. Let us watch and pray. The book of Matthew 26. Watch and pray. Many of us are here, just pray. And then there's a lot of things in the house. The attitude of unfaithfulness, disobedience, are still there. You just want to pray, receive prayer. So say, people, anything can happen to them while they are coming to synagogue. The least you know. So much kidnapping. Exactly. And destruction outside. Yes. Anything can happen to such a people. Why they come in here? But they are only to receive prayer. With their sham, with their bad attitude, mm. they are only to receive prayer. So this is what we are going to resort to. Interactive prayer session. I hope so, you listen okay. to me. Can you give me somebody the reason why we want to resort to interactive? You'll be at home, I will pray for you. The reason? Because Jesus... Make you now look the question where he asked them. He asked three people question. They were having their last opportunity at least to give him the right answer. None of them were able to give him the right answer before he dropped the microphone. Make you now listen to the question where he asked them and say, what is the reason of you people when they tell me and say it is better to remain back home because you now they come and just to come and you not know, to come and receive prayer finish you now not change in a bad ways you now not change in a bad life you now not you now not give a life to Christ but you now they travel they come from road you now not come to receive prayer and the Nigeria now is very very bad most people like that can be kidnapped on the way it is better you remain back at home and receive the prayer from television then they come and ask they say. Why is it better for you, for somebody like that, to remain back at home and receive the prayer from television? Listen to their answer. Jesus is alive and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India. Let you hear from our father here. The reason why we want to resort to this. Even our father, not for We will be praying for you. Instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times, and more so, that these people are very far away, and uh, God is. Uh, uh, you see, huh? Somebody answer. Enough answer. Look at that one. Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. Look at that one. This. Is the moment. See, as he just, he just collects. Man, I want that place so, well, low. As he just, the last person just said talk. Now, so he just said, remove the microphone for your hand. Give the microphone back to the girl where they follow him with the microphone. Just walk away immediately. You don't even wait. And um, normally, that is very, very unusual of him. Let's continue to watch. Let's watch something. There's something I want us to learn. 
her own to receive prayer. So this is what we are going to resort to. Interactive prayer section. I hope you listen to me. Can you give me somebody the reason why we want to resort to interactive? You'll be at home, I will pray for you. The reason? Because Jesus is alive and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India. Let you hear from our father here. The reason why we want to resort to this, you'll be at home, we'll be praying for you. Instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times and more so that these people are very far away and uh, God is. Uh, uh, Enough, you answer. Somebody answer me. See the last person, maybe not look here. Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. He collect the microphone, he give it to the girl, and he walk this away. Is the moment he left immediately. Left the service. Very very unusual of him. The all of them were still standing. They were standing, Jesus, no, Jesus, waiting because that is not that is not how they normally do the the the, the, the program. The program later he will not pray for everyone, Jesus, each of them one Jesus, after the other. So let's continue Jesus, to listen. What a wonder you are. One of the eyewitnesses oh, that was there that very Jesus, day. What a wonder share this video, guys. Share, share, share this video. Give me love and like. During the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting on Saturday, the 5th of June, 2021, Prophet TB Joshua said, Time for everything. Now, shortly after walking out of the prayer garden, he was called home to rest. Shortly after he walked away from there, shortly. Before this happened, shortly. God had given one of the Emmanuel TV partners a revelation of how his servant, Prophet TB Joshua, would be called home to eternal glory. Right now, we want to meet this partner who is in our midst today. And so we want to welcome you. In Let's Jesus meet the partner welcome. that was there that Please, very day. Can you introduce yourself to us and tell us the revelation you had that day? My name is Pastor Ifai Ikechuku. On that very day, which is the 5th of June, which is Saturday, we were on the mountain at the partner meetings. We were praising the Lord. So there's a lot of worship going on. So I stood up. I was worshiping the Lord. I was deeply in worship. Immediately, my eyes opened. I saw something. People were running into scatter. This is my revelation. And uh, as they were running around, so I quickly opened my eyes. I thought it was real. I looked back. Everybody was still deeply in worship. I said, I had this revelation. I closed my eyes again. I was worshiping the Lord. The revelation came the second time. So I sat down. I began to pray. I was praying, I opened my eye because I was meditating on what I saw. I saw an angel right from this point descending. As the angel descended, ah, I was amazed. I said, ah, I was looking at the angel. The second one landed. Mm -hmm. It was very, I don't know how to explain it. It was very fast, like electricity like as fast as electricity it entered the second garden here nobody was in the garden then the third angel landed then our our father in the lord senior prophet tb joshua came out he was ministering to us he was saying it is time to time to come and time to return home after service hmm. So he began to preach. What a man of God. We listened to him. So he, uh, he, he preached to a point. The fourth angel landed. I was watching them. Instantly, the atmosphere of our, of our daddy in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, his atmosphere changed. His mood changed. He dropped the microphone that was on his hand. Yes. He, he, he walked around. He was so fast, he walked fast. You see, uh, 
He walked. He was going. He was walking. He was going, 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 going. Fast. Oh, go, go, go. because I will see him that way. He left us very fast. And when he was before the before he left, I could recall that the antelope were running out out of that garden where the angels is. They run to this part. Then I I I, I watched everything as it unfolded. After that, we were called to receive the anointing water. Then we received the anointing water and uh, we received message that Papa said he has blessed us. So we received the anointing water. After we received the anointing water, we were very happy. Then we all went back to the, the, to the hotel room. This is what I experienced. I can easily tell you directly that our Papa did not just die. No. God sent his angel and he took him home like Elijah. I want to assure you that God is real. And our father, Prophet Yeshua, is indeed a man of God. I saw the angel that came to took him home. And it is the Lord doing. I can as well tell you that if every man of God can be called home this way, can be called home this way, it will be marvelous because it is not easy. It is only Elijah had been called him this way. I saw the angels there yeah, from this space. They descend very fast, like electric. The most important part of it, I couldn't see them walking on the floor, but immediately I saw them on this map, on this garden. The angels landed here. The angel landed here. The first angel. The second angel came from the same point again, from this point, and it landed here again. That was the second angel. Then the third angel, they did come, they were coming one after another. The third angel descended again and landed here. Do you hear that? The point, they were there. Then our our father in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, came from this gate, the green gate over there. The angels has landed before he entered, said they are there already waiting. And he walked to this path. They, they were there already. To this garden. And he opened this gate and he entered into the garden, the mountain where, where the partners are where we are praising the Lord. And as our father came in, senior prophet TB Joshua, as he came in, Good evening. he began to I, I, I. speak to us, and he said, a time to come, and a time to return home after service. Time for everything. Hey, time to come. great man. No. And it's time to return home after service. What a loss. So we began to see what a that lost. Why, as I was sitting, I began to think because what I saw was in me is it's like a shock to me. I have not experienced such thing before. Then they got to a point, the, the, the fourth angel landed again. <laughs> he, he landed from that point and he came down from that point there. You can see it from where the first angel landed from. They came down from the same point and they, they came together. As the first angel came down and it was in the, in the second uh, 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 garden, then our, our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, was already ministering to us. Then immediately his countenance changed immediately. His atmosphere changed immediately. Hmm. As he changed, he dropped the microphone. I saw him. He just dropped the he microphone. Move. He, moved he just moved he away. And he moved to that way. He was just asking the question. He passed they have not even finished answering the question. He just dropped the microphone. And just move away. There's something I observed. When the fourth angel landed, they, I saw the antelope on their own running through this place to this part. 
they began to run to this point. If you watch very well, you will see the age, the, the antelope, they, they were running a map, they ran to this place. That was when the first angel landed. And they walked through this place very fast. As he walked down, I was watching him. He was moving, moving, moving. It was not like him. Because formally, he would come and lay hands on us. He did not lay hands on anybody on that very day. He didn't lay hands on anybody. He left us. So after a while, they were sharing the anointing water to us. Then after sharing the anointing water, they began to talk to us that our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, that he has sent him to tell us that we are blessed. Hmm. That was when we began to feel relaxed. Then, before I had the news about his passing on, so I want to assure you, from my own observation and what the revelation that God gave to me, the angel came and carry our father home. He did not die. Yes, it is God's time. It is God calling. God has, God took him home for him to have rest. I wish God will give me this grace because what I saw, I am assuring you that I cannot explain it because there is a lot of shock in me because I can't just express what I saw that very day. Remember his last word. He said, "Watch and pray." That was exact language of Jesus. That was that, that was the pray. first thing he said. Let us watch and pray. That was the first thing he said when he came before he left. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, "Today is my last day on the earth." Oh, what a great uh, man! <laughs> what a great man! We lost a great <laughs> man, a general. Today is your last day on earth. God's general. We ah, lost him. We never valued today. him. Praise the Lord. Today is my last day on earth. We never valued him because of I the, the bad part. name where Bisolate so paints when this man. A person to my father. You can now pick those parable. Do you see that? That is the documentary of T.B. Joshua and the eyewitness that saw him the last day that saw him. Do you know that even today, as I'm still talking to you, eh? Now we Nigerians, we blacks, now you know they support this man at all. You understand me? Because we believe, say, nothing good can ever come out from Nigeria. Nobody is good in Nigeria. They don't believe, say, everybody from Nigeria, it's not possible for a prophet, a real man of God to come out from Nigeria. You know why? Because they know that they are filled with sin. They are filled with evil. They don't ever expect, say, Something good like TB Joshua go ever rise from a country like Nigeria. That's why they are calling him a Susia, a Babalago, a Jujuma, a Cortis, a Con, a Conicot. Okay, me I see show now one. I'm gonna come see how ah, una people, una Nigerians, you know, una, our brothers. Let me say our brothers. Mona see the way that they I'm talk to Mona they see the way that they, 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 they express their own feeling concerning. TB Joshua. We are talking of our Nigerian brothers, so then our come show now our foreigners till they respect this man. Man, where we know the value. Let, let me show now. Man is not well read, he's not educated, but he could play this game. He knows how to play this game, and he played the game very well. Do you hear that? Yeah, where did TB Joshua come from? Where did he start his religion? Do you hear that? They are still questioning. He started before TB Joshua get to where he is today. They are still questioning. See them. You understand? So now BBC gang go. Gang. Do your findings. <laughs> they do your findings. They BBC gang. You do your research. Ask yourself. Now BBC gang. Go and find that. Uh, go and check uh, Papilo. Mm -hmm. You understand? Talu. Talu went to TB Joshua. Not only he was lucky. That guy would have died with that heart at, uh, uh, at issue that he was having back in the days. He was lucky if not for his club that convinced him. Kalu went to TB Joshua. Uh, Omokachi went to TB Joshua. Uh, Ike, uh, Jim Ike, the movie actor. These guys went to TB Joshua. These are not every people. If TB Joshua is real, Omokachi, they use Omokachi like a guinea pig. Omokachi was literally giving anders, cooking, selling food, give people this and in, in TB Joshua. Why did all these guys leave? Hey. You understand? Amokachi, Amokachi is not complaining. 
Kalu is not complaining, oh, but people are carrying their matter put for their heads to judge against TV Joshua. When you are talking about Jim Ike, what has changed in Jim Ike? Everything Jim Ike used in matter talk that they say, now they possess, and now they possess everything tomorrow. He's still very possessed. As Jim Ike find rich and some rich, which woman don't ever stay with Jim Ike for in life? Which woman don't stay, say, Jim Ike never ever present one woman come and say, this is my wife, you know, they. I'll come play Jim Ike a uh, 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 demonstration for TV Joshua Church that very day. Where they always they talk and say Jim Ike, Jim Ike. Where Jim Ike they go, they talk and say this and this. Nobody forced you to say it. You can't even Jim Ike they talk and say, oh, it was a disgrace. If he disgrace or feel feel I don't know, I don't know as, as a superstar, feel humiliated because of the confession of the evil spirit where they fall for. It's a different thing. But saying that uh, you never knew what they get to you, something enter you. Yes, you are, you are really the one speaking, but you never know when you start to speak. We never know when you start to speak because it's the only ghost that was speaking, that was making you to speak. It don't touch you. The, thing, the only ghost don't touch you. So you go speak. You are under, under the anointing already. If there's any demon tormenting you, must surely speak out. Okay? Say so you not come believe in God. That one is your problem because Jim Ike. Problem. He never sees so I don't see any improve in Jim Ike problem. The demon went and delivered from Jim Ike. In fact, more than 1,001 entered Jim Ike again. Because why? Jim Ike did not follow it up. The reason why teachers they tell a lot of them, say, when you don't deliver them, say, make them stay back. It's for them to follow it up. Because you know how you're under deliverance. You, 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 you know the deliver you and you go back again to the world and start to commit the same thing and say, you not commit again. That demon is automatically coming back. And when they come back, you go carry more angels. Follow up, but they take come back into your life. That is just the truth. Being delivered is not a guarantee that that thing will not come back again. If you did not follow it up, that is a way Tim Joshua don't deliver. They go tell they say, stay back, stay back and follow it up so that God, you will be totally delivered. Then you go teach you how to pray because prayer is the key. Nobody say they don't deliver you, finish. Now, now you won't come back, you won't come go carry a woman, you won't go sleep with woman. No, 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 no. They don't, you never even deliver a finish, oh. You never even deliver a finish, oh. You don't go carry a woman. And that spirit of, 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 of woman, that lost. Then they just deliver you from now. That is what happened to Jim Ike. So let me continue to play me on the list, you know. I don't have a colleague, Kalu. Now I don't forget what you know. Kalu, you understand? Find out from Kalu. Find out from Momokachi. Find out from Jim Ike. At least these are notable people that went there. TB Joshua, Lagos State, Fashola, come out threatening TB Joshua. And then for that thing, come out threatening TB Joshua. He went on that. Fashola can deal with the president. Do you know how many times Jonathan used to go to TB Joshua church? Jonathan did not even go in hiding. Jonathan go in open. When Jonathan was looking for everything possible to come back for second time. You understand? This is how powerful TB Joshua could be. They granted him to build that building for just four floors. The papers are all there, just four. Four story building. And TV just are taking up to seven. So, Tom, this thing that you are talking six and everything. No, you don't pay contractor to build six building, six story building for you and they choose to go seven. Contractor want to cut costs and make all type of money you can think of. It is four, and it took it that, 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 to that level. The second time that TV Joshua did the same thing again, I could remember, uh, what is it called, SARS or... There's one flu that came that time, that somebody traveled all the way from uh, Liberia or thereabouts. Uh, Ebola. You understand? Ebola, thank you. My father said, we will not take this again. Fashola was shut down. Fashola is a very stubborn person. He was shut down. Even as a governor, he was shut down. First, you have to talk, come outside, go here and talk. But suddenly, you can't see the follow up again. This is how powerful this man is. So many people, people in my neighborhood, I come from a neighborhood where we had a lot of military people. So many people went to TV Joshua Church, never come back. Just like the story, <laughs> like Freddie said, Jesus of Oyibo. So people that, the there. problem of this man is that they go there, they never come back. How will they come back? You cannot live where you are having your peace. Where you have your peace, where you see your, uh, your, 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 you see your peace, you get your deliverance, 
God is blessing you. You are not paying for food. You are not paying for prayer. You are not paying for water. You are not paying for everything. You have everything free in your concert. Why will you come back? Are you not going to get there and finish your deliverance and be blessed before you're so you won't go back home? It's not that you are in a place that you are going to be paying. No, everything is free. <laughs> Look at what this one is saying. So people don't know anything, no. <laughs> Look at them. We might say to today, we don't even know whether those people have gone, whether they are dead. They never Do you hear that? back again. Do you hear that? You understand? So they practice more like a courtist thing. You see that? Then... Somebody go to church and say that I'll choose to sleep in church and not coming back home. Is this how you is this how you you practice your own religion? That you go to church and you will not come back again. Church will not sweet you enough for you to come back home to come and tell to people to go and preach the, the message. How will you preach the message when you don't know the message? The people that stood back in synagogue church of one nation, they are the disciples that are spread everywhere today. You cannot be inside your house, inside your room, and you want to go and preach the gospel. Do you hear what this one is saying? That's why I said these people, they lack of knowledge. They don't, they don't know anything. They don't have knowledge of anything. They just go to social media, they will be talking out of hatred, out of jealousy, out of that. This person, I don't like him. You understand that? I don't like him. That is their problem. That's just their problem. Because what this man is saying, it doesn't make any sense to me. No sense. They're talking about people going to the temple church, church. They will not come back again. Who to, I, we don't even know that they are still alive. Are you okay? They are not alive. They don't they have family. Would their family blow a lot that told my son that when they did not come back with some alive for or my daughter that when they did not come this is how the people destroy the name of TB Joshua. That's why I want to show now this video. Let me see how people can go that far to bring down the name of the man of God, to just to destroy the name, to bring him down, just to discriminate him, to make him worthless. They know that what they are saying is not true. But just because they don't they don't care. They don't care. They just want to make him look less than who he is. Do you know why I'm happy? I'm so happy that synagogue Church of All Nations is not meant for Nigerians. No. That is where the jealousy comes from. They expected him to only be a synagogue church for Nigerians or for or just synagogue church. No, it's for all nations. Thank God, thank Jesus that a lot of people from all nations are speaking for him. Even though we Nigerians refuse to know that God has blessed us with this man of God, this prophet, we, we refuse to acknowledge him. Other people that know his value are acknowledging him. He doesn't need our acknowledgement. No, he has always, always been saying that the only problem he has is, is his people. His people are the problem he has. The Nigerians, his people. Come, come, come. Ha! The, 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 George, you are living yeah. there. You are not coming back home. Do you hear that? My brother, all the pattern, when you look everything put together, you understand? You see that conditioning thing. You see that court thing. You see that? You understand? Come and look the, 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 the story of uh, the Jesus of uh, uh, the Mammon Church in Salt Lake City, in Utah. Yeah. Go and see the way people operate. Go and look the documentary. And never that you see that court pattern. You, know, I, I, you don't need us to lay our hands to say, we want to lay our hands to say, oh, this man is a false prophet. Of course, he's a false prophet. You understand? He's a false prophet. No pastor of EPO Edict for Nigeria, top place of cancer. It's a false prophet. Do you hear that? All right. That's All right. my take. Do you hear that? Do you, I think I see what the, the Nigerians, they thought they got out. That's what they did for Zoom meeting. Everybody food there. Everybody food there. Then I will not show you the difference between them and other countries. The way other countries value what we never valued. Okay? What we never value. What we not. What, what will they talk? What will they talk? Say, you not good. Okay? Then we go come see how other countries they value. That is, that is life. That the is life. Mean, when you not mean, value what you have, other people that value it. We appreciate it. You understand me? And uh -huh, that's how it be. Me, I look for the video. When you don't value what you have, other people that value it, that appreciate it, we make a very, very good use of it. And that's exactly what happened in, in, in this uh, the TV Joshua case. A lot of people never knew what they have until they lose it. And when they lose it, now they are not thinking that, oh, it was a jujuma. It was a jujuma, but there is no proof about it that it was a jujuma. Nobody has ever come and look. There is no one, nobody will be saying go there for COVID alone. No, it's not possible. If really it was a jujuma, why it can't be say now only one I there for the COVID? Another person not come come and say 
TV Joshua was with is with me in the coffin. I know him. Or he has come to me before for for some kind of juju to get power to heal. What did TV Joshua they do? Not juju my feet do one. <laughs> what did TV Joshua they do? Eh? No occultic power feed do what TV Joshua they do. No occultic power feed do one. No Baba Lawo feed perform that kind of miracle. Because it's not a magic. What did that man they do? Not be magic. Now miracle now they do. You understand me? And no Baba Lawo go feed. That is where they for Mumu. They Mumu eh? No God created us. Our people they too Mumu. How can you say TV Joshua is you Juju? Where Juju? No don't ever say Juju for this life. Where, where they work like that? Where Juju? If not, I, everybody for everybody for don't forget about Jesus now. Ah, we juju, they walk, they do all those kind of miracles. Is this anybody go sit to say Jesus Christ is yes. not be Jesus, not be that juju, not be everybody go for because everybody they find a miracle day. They don't even care if a magician. Me, I never see any babalago in the history of this Africa, in the history of the world, where if you perform any miracle, they don't perform any miracle. We don't forget the power. Devil not get that kind of power. Devil, devil not to destroy. Now don't see where devil repair. You see where they for mumu. Now don't ever see where devil demon they repair. Demon can a demon cast out a demon? It's not possible. Can a demon cast out a demon? It is not possible. How come he is not casting out demon? And you people say it's a demon. How can a demon cast out demon? It's not possible. Do you see? So they don't even know anything. Look at them now. With healing properties in our bodies. Look at them. Look at Oibo now. Every time a fruit comes out from a tree, you can take it down. Look at Oibo. Taking the fruit from a tree. Look at Oibo. The tree. Where they support me, Joshua? Look at them. And next year, you can take away all the leaves. It will still bear fruit next year. The ones where we not even know. We not know them. We not even know them. So, brother, if you are looking for us, come. See them. Uh, from TV Joshua. I was spent there about maybe two to three years uh, on and off. And yeah, such a wonderful time. You know, God created us. Let's listen to them as they are introducing themselves. The All right. Welcome, everyone, to today's wonderful show. I'm Rickard, and I'm here with some wonderful men of God. I can't wait to Do you see them? They are all disciples of TV Joshua. See them. Those of you watching, oh, I'm Rickard. I was at the Single Church World Nation eh? for about nine years. Uh, living under Prophet TB Joshua there, and we're here to share our experiences, memories, and things that really impacted our lives from our time in the synagogue church of all nations and with Prophet TB Joshua. So, you guys go ahead, introduce yourself. Uh, how about you, Ed? Hi, my name's Ed Gardner. Yes, I was also a, a disciple of Prophet TB Joshua at the synagogue church of all nations. Okay. I was there for over 16 years. Okay. And um, it was a place where I've spent most of my life, and I, I give thanks to God every day for all that He has done there in me, through me, and for me. Okay. Um, my name is Martin. Uh, I uh, I'm also a disciple uh, from TB Joshua. I was spent there about maybe two to three years. Uh, on and off. 23 years. Hey, time. this one, tell 23 many, years. Many lessons learned in life, and I, I, eh? I thank God for the experience. Mr. Lassie, all of them are fake. That's the magic. My name is Cedric, and I was also um, a disciple at the synagogue church for 10 years. And it was very interesting, and lots of lessons learned as well, and lots of lots of experiences. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm, like the, I'm like the rookie guy. I, I, I'm just there. <laughs> I had no idea you had been there for 10 years, Cedric. You were there longer than me? I remember when you came. You came like a little child there, you know. You said that. Rickard, I met you there. Come on, please. Yeah, I, yeah. That's a I met you there, and you left me. Rickard did the baby dedication. <laughs> Do you see that? They are cracking jokes. Okay. All right, then... so that's wonderful. Um, so we're gonna share a couple of our memories and experiences, and and just let you guys know, watching, um, you know, things that we learned that we wish for you to learn as well. And without having to spend so many years at a particular place. Uh, first of all, one of the questions that people have asked me personally a lot is, uh, you know, how did TB Joshua prayed? You know, how was what was his prayer life like? Okay. What was his uh, habits in prayer and so on and so forth? So in general, what I would uh, say regarding that is that, first of all, he, he prayed a lot. 
he he Boots. believes strongly in prayer rooms and special areas for prayer okay come on this is this one that is fake God is very great. much about like you should have an area that is consecrated for prayer uh, it's different from the western culture where people are more like oh you can just pray everywhere you know yes you can pray everywhere but he he believed that you know when you go into a place that's consecrated for prayer it's kind of a uh, more focused to pray to God, no distractions, and nobody can just come in there and, you know, talk to you. You spend your time there, and when you come out, then you're available for people, you know. And uh, so when it comes to how he was praying, I think his prayer life was, was very sacrificial. He would pray uh, many times in the late night where people normally would sleep. That's when he would really spend time in prayer. And, okay. and he was many times outdoors prayer praying. Uh, he had... The pray mountain where he did a lot of come prayer. and tell Joshua these people Joshua. now that Timmy Joshua is he fake. Come and tell them now. He wouldn't sit down and pray <laughs> ever. Basically, that was the rest of the time in a circle, <laughs> and it, it would even be like the circle would be so designated that like you could see the tracks where like someone has walked there a lot. Do you see them? And he would walk in that circle and pray. You know, and he taught us kind of. A way that you can a way that you can pray and it, it has basically five components and I'm gonna see if I can remember them perfectly because I'm not strictly following only that way today of course I'm praying as God directs me personally uh, but I remember you know you start with Thanksgiving and then you can pray for forgiveness of uh, then you go into forgiveness of sins uh, and then I think you go into confession and then you go into a spiritual warfare where you begin to go against Do you the see spirits that? behind different things in your family and so on and so forth. And then you end um, with, I think, like mercy and favor, asking God for like to cover you with mercy and favor and so on. So Do you see that? Okay. I just want to show them to you people. We're going to see different. the difference. Look at okay, them. Okay, so we had a little bit Look of them. technical difficulty Look at there. them. It seems like These are Timmy Joshua disciples minute, having a Zoom meeting, talking about their experience. Our Do you see? Until then. So as I was saying, prayer and the different uh, components of prayer, you know, and all those things were, were things that we were taught kind of to, especially when we were going, it was called going on assignment. It meant that you went to the prey mountain for a one day, two day, or a three day fast normally. Do you say that? people who were okay. more designated. Me, I'm not asking. Ah, oh, you're not going to tell these people more now. Designated to be Look at them now. They could go in Look for seven days. And the fasting that we did there, eh? it wasn't just, you know, you're fasting from, you know, there's different Daniel's fast. Really ah, you're not going to tell these people you know, now that TB uh, Joshua is or, fake. Look at them now. Juice. It was no food, no water, and listen to this, barely any sleep either, okay? You would go on a prayer assignment, you would be one or two or three people, sometimes more. You would go to a particular prayer hut at the prayer mountain, and you would pray uh, consecutively in your prayer hut, there would always be one person praying. So you would pray, for example, for one hour each. See, so being Joshua disciples, disciples, we don't even know this one. one we don't know them. Yeah, I don't know this me, one. Me, I would pray one hour, then rest two hours. Look at them. Pray one hour, rest two hours. Come and tell them that that is fake. Come and tell them now. Twenty-four or forty-eight. Look at them now. Twenty-two hours. And uh, when you come out of that. I mean, you you are really close to God. I can tell you that because you're close to death. <laughs> then you have to be close to God. <laughs> you know? Do you see that? So, so yeah, those were the kind of prayer assignments. We really and, and at those times, many times when you sleep, because you can only sleep for two hours, and then you are, they wake you up and like it's your time to pray. It's your time to pray. So you have to wake up. So at any point during these seventy-two hours, you only sleep for like two hours in a row ever during the night or day. So. And we don't even drink water, nothing. It's just you and the Bible and God, you know. So, um, so they say not those fickle. Times, many times when you slumber for those two hours, you get really divine dreams and like God speaks to me, dreams and stuff like that. So I, I personally thought that those were some of the coolest experiences of my spiritual life, honestly. And looking back, I really appreciate that. And, and it was it's just something special. When you're in the when you're in the prayer hut and you're praying, you kind of have a track of time. You know that like, oh, this is three days now. It's three days and one hour already. What's going on? Because normally you would wait for for the prophet to call and say, okay, 
you guys can finish your assignment now and come back to the church or whatever. So, but those times it was very character building, uh, and and you just got so close to God. everything else of this world. Everything else just fades away, and it's just you and Jesus Christ. There is nothing else that matters. Nothing. And I felt like I got answers to a lot of questions that I had during those times, really. So, yeah, I guess those and those that was taught by Prophet T.B. Joshua. So he was the one that started that type of prayer in the church, you know, and then he taught us disciples the same the same things, really. So to those that have been asking about prayer and, you know, what's the how did he pray and stuff like that, I've given you kind of an idea of, of how, how he would pray and. You know, uh, I, I can't tell you the exact words he prayed for. You know, it's not like he's telling us everything he prays. You know, obviously, but those were kind of like the atmosphere or, or the surroundings of uh, when you were for prayer. Prayer was taken very seriously. It's mm. not like, oh, good morning, Jesus. Uh, have a good day, Jesus. See you later today. You know, and then you proceed to do your stuff. It's you go in. You know, you pray, and that's it. You know, so. So yeah, sacrifice of time. Then. Yeah, oh. yeah, for sure. Do you see so, that? Yeah, that's one of my memories. What? How about you guys? Mm. Well, I just uh, uh, to add a bit more to what you're saying about prayer. Yeah, like um, the In this one. Now. I bet me gonna know this now. All this so he bought people. Me, I just blocked the me. I blocked the person immediately, and I did. Me I see where that block did. Me I find out they block him. Now they have those old boy where they call person from a. Uh, then are from a. Uh, now from a uh, Egypt to. I don't know where they for the call. They will just call. They not go even call you for normal call. They will call you for video call. Where did they find that they call for see an Arab see an Arab language? Then they they write so Arab Arab language. Arab. Me I look for him. See, is it a call? You never stop. Not until I block, and it will never stop. No, it will, it will never stop. Until I block, I know it will stop. Mm. Me, I block her. Okay, I don't block her. So, now that one be down. I make a leave down one for you. I think when I see and I say, now we, the blacks, now no value to be Joshua. The Oibo people, there is no way you can tell the Oibo people to Joshua are fake. It's not possible. It is not possible. Who oh, wish Oibo you not can go tell as a team Joshua are fake? Even we have be so that for go do interview. Where for see Oibo, where they follow the do interview for for YouTube. That that very Oibo said they look this like they look if this like they look like, so what this like they talk so Cause nobody will feel believe what this like they talk. Let's play this video. Some crying, 
been some confused. Some people think I've been battered. And I asked myself, simple question. Why should a documentary come out about a man of God who is six feet down who have died? They are not after him. They are after his legacy and his wife. Put on a thinking cap. If you said Prophet TV Joshua have done that allegedly. Allegedly, let's assume if he had done that. Is it here to answer for what you are bringing now? No. So, who are you targeting? What are you open to achieve? The wife. First, number one. The fate of people who have been built dead by God through Prophet TV Joshua. Mm. Two. Prophetess Evelyn. Exactly. The current residing pastor of Squan. That is their problem. Has taken over to all the ministry to continue to run. Now that problem with that woman. Nothing else. A direct, direct attack on the woman of God. I'm telling you. Who are those who brought out this alleged complaint and whatever? Aggrieved. Probably. Hmm. Once there, I don't know them. Are they bitter? And if they are bitter, do you think anybody who is bitter with you will we ever say anything? Think good about you? It's, <laughs> it's not possible. It's not possible. No bitter person will ever say anything good about you. No, 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 no. no. Wagon, no, no. Uber. Some of them, I bless them. I've heard them say things that I never knew where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is the disciples yes, for you. I've seen things. Oh. I've given some, some of my spiritual sons five cars. Some four, three. And when they go, went out there, there's nothing they don't say unthinkable. That never happened. Mm. So I used myself as a, as a man of God. To look at it and ask myself, what is the purpose of this scandal and name calling now? No. A man of God that does not have a mansion of his own who no. lived all his life in the church. No house, no mansion. I saw the place where he stayed. He eh? re received me when I went to visit. Eh? That is where he said. Phew. Who was not materialistic? At all. I want you to make comparison and just suppose who was not materialistic. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Number two, who was not in too much expensive cars and was not doing a lot of paparazzi that nothing. Some of, some of us or some people do. Phew. Number three, throughout his lifetime. Never condemned any preacher who was preaching about love, nothing else by love. I agree, you say he's not a perfect man, you call him all false. But let us compare who was preaching, <laughs> preaching love. You will never see him call any man of God fake at all. Many of you there have been ne so judgmental, never, never, never. Hey! I'm asking you wherever you ask. You see, I started talking about Prophet while he was alive. I talked with I've never met him one on one. We never sat down when we talk on phone for a long time. We discuss, we have our talks. I leave that that's personal. But the, the issue is that I got to know Prophet T B Joshua by the content of his character, not by what people say. Exactly, oh me too. His character. Ah! A man of God who was not wearing wristwatch. No wristwatch. Put on ring. Does he put on ring? He felt he said in his word, "If I put on wristwatch, you say that's where the power is. No, if I put on ring, you say that's where the power is." I'm telling you. Ask you questions. A man of God who you who, who you turn his act of love by giving to the poor, giving to the widows, helping and helping everybody, sewing sewing all over. Living a simple life, not wearing expensive clothes. Nothing. Hey. Simple. Please, how else do you want a man of God? I don't know what they want this man. Hey. If you 
you say he is occulted? <laughs> How many of you, men of God, have lived the life he lived? A man of God who went about doing crusades, spending millions of dollars. A lot. Without collecting offerings. Hey! The, the crusade. Yeah. Hey. Anybody. I'm asking. I'm not only bringing. That's there. They are there on, on, on the public domain. Preaching and winning souls. So. For Christ. Yeah. Hey. Uh, he doesn't collect offerings. I just want you to. I'm, I'm thinking aloud. When has truth become lies? I just tired. Yeah. Person will not get, you know, the wear wrist wash. Make my not send a dead the power day. You know, the wear ring. Make my not send a dead the power day. Come on, necklace, not the wear. I never see TV Joshua go wear marker. He has the money to buy it, but he's not going to wear. Because he believes eh, that money not to use for the poor. That man lived a life of, 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 a, of a very humble and simple man. He not get much on anywhere. He not get house anywhere. See, not go such a foundation. I be in house. I they stay. Still, I say not fake. Okay, I don't know what come to tell me. I say, who come be the real one? I'm gonna come show me the real one. Hey, when I will show us the real one, I say, be say he not fake. Hear me. I will show us the real ones because me, I don't know the real ones. My vision is greater than money. My my vision is greater than any. And I cannot trade my, my vision and my mission with anything. Money is a slice of bread. Oh. Slice of bread to me. Just a slice is money to me. The, re the rest slice is still somewhere. So I will not allow, I will never trade my career, my vision, my mission with money. Do you hear that? Ministers of God all over the world, they are still pressing for more peace and comfort. So me, money cannot solve problem. The richest ministers of God all over the world, the richest, are still pressing for peace and comfort. So, and I'm looking for peace and comfort. If that money cannot get me peace and comfort, why are you wasting my time? Oh. So, do your best and leave the rest. Oh! Oh! Do you hear that? The founder and general overseer of Christ the Life Bible International Church. Oh! Adoration God. Let's listen to this man of God. That registered in my spirits that TV Joshua has made heaven. You don't make devil, don't make them. man to trend why he is dead. I mean, that person is a saint. I'm telling you all, me, I never seen something before in my life. It's like Prophet A.S. O'Kenna. Never seen it before in my life. To any man divinely called by God, you have an opposer. Hmm. And every man that is opposing a candidate of God by sabotaging him, hmm. criticizing him, oh. blackmailing him, oh. does not end up in bringing him down, but ends up in advertising in the night. Oh, so, thank you. Joshua, we at the end, the land in publicizing TB Joshua to the international world. How can somebody pass history be remembered why he is dead? I just tell you. Hey. In Nigeria ministry, I don't know what they are up to. I don't tell you. No, I don't believe in what they believe. I believe in God has called me and I Channel my belief to God. Don't mind them. It's like a cartel. And in Nigeria ministry, they believe in God for that is eh, God for that is for church again. We are not linked to the particular session of ministerial producers in Nigeria. They turn you to be satan. Eh? When you are not submitting to certain Cartel, religious cartels, they tell you to be antichrist. Okay. And that, that is a problem of TB Joshua. Exactly. He's a man called by God and believe on God in that call. But they don't want to they join them. Submitting to a particular person and they they wanted to lure him to those cartels and he refused them. Do you know why he refused? And the man to Do you know why he refused them? He refused them because he was on his own personal mission. 
He was on his own personal mission. He was not in the mission to go and be in the garden of people before he will be polluted. And he will lose his me, he will lose his, his, his calling. Because they can pollute you, they can pollute your mind. You come and that they must everyone suddenly have a problem with it. So he decided to stay on his own. So just focus on why he was called. That was why he never joined it. And he did very well. Because those people they did not show him love at all. Even though he refused to join people. Ah, which people show him love by coming there to come and see him and he still join closer. He would have come and stay with you people and still do things with you people, but you can never show him love. Instead, you were always attacking him, trying to bring him down, trying to fire out to a, 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 a ritualist man, a courtist, giving him names, paying Bisola. When Bisola just come out from TV to our church, they just carry Bisola. They use Bisola against Synagogue Church of All Nations. For the almost 20 years, till today, they are still struggling. They are still struggling to prove that it's fake. And to the man told us, when somebody is there, they are struggling to prove that somebody is fake. You will know that that person is real. Ha! Now, wow! He fell on his wife, and the wife picked up the mountain and pushed the ministry higher than TB Joshua. And they want to bring that man ministry down. I'm telling you. They, know they, were, they are not fighting TB Joshua, they are fighting God. If it is a That's true good. allegation, he should have trained while he was alive. <laughs> a dead man is a dead man. <laughs> Bible said the dead man have no question to answer. No they question. Fighting. They, no they, 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 they fight their thoughts. If they fight this fight, they will bring the minister the synagogue down. That was their aim. Walk that way. Look at they, oh, they, they, they are promoting to be Joshua the more. Hmm. I mean the synagogue the more. I'm telling you. Uh, you see, you see, you see, when people when when the Jews thought when they kill Jesus, if they kill Jesus, or when they kill Jesus, that the ministry is dead. The time Jesus died was the time the fulfillment of the assignment of Jesus came to start. That was when the min the ministry begins. Yes, yes. The message spread wider than a person. Yes. So what am I preaching? TB Joshua is like I don't say he is Jesus. He is like Jesus. When they kill Jesus, they thought Christianity is dead. Yes. But when the king Jesus this, and the, the apostles, this, the, 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 the ministry spread more wider. Spread wider. This is what is about happening to P.T.B. Joshua and Sinabo. Hmm. I, will, I will advise the wife to work more harder because no one breaks harder. All this battle, we are on same battle hmm. to her while the husband was alive. Yes. Now the husband is there, he's late. And I'd met, meet our maker, which all of us, one by one, we will go that place. Hmm. And uh, I will advise her to pick up the mountain and uh, uh, and use the Bible to encourage herself and never believe any threats. Whoever that is running and looking back is not worthy of the rest. At all. I'm a man of God, Bible says, "Who touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm." I'm advising them as well. Hmm. The more they are doing it, they should also know that there is a a percussion there is a repercussion that follows it uh, uh, i think jesus said truly g god has said the son of man will die but rule to he through the through him that man of god will die so judas was not a uh, blessed among the disciples at all course, and knew that they are using as an agent mm. to bring down a man of god mm -hmm. <laughs> I stopped there so far, but you will never go unpunished. Amen. Hey, Do you hear that? Since when TV Joshua by eh? Eh? Yes. When it by everywhere silence, we were thinking, okay, ministry continue as normal. But do you know that this BBC documentary has risen up, eh? Has risen up the the gospel more to the world. In fact, I'm telling you, when I see the the disciples we are players now. We don't know those disciples before. Three pictures are matter. This documentary. Now I come call up love them together. They come and do Zoom meeting. They ask themselves, how many years you stay for dear? You how many years you stay for dear? You how many years you stay for dear? Okay, let each each of us out of the talk about our experience. Now, a very long video. I know if you play and finish. I for play another for you. Everything. Now, a very long video. That video where they play us now. 
very long, almost 30 minutes video. Now, only five minutes I play. Men are come here when, when each, each of them they talk of what they experience in the synagogue church of all nations when they were there. Okay, how are you not going to tell those people that the signature is fake? Go and tell them now. <laughs> how can you not convince people that was living in the synagogue church of all nations for 20 years, for 15 years, for 18 years, the other one spent 23 years? Those boys should one spent 23 years. How are you not going to tell those people that Tim Joshua is fake? When they are going to tell you I, the, their daily activities for years. The person that will come to say, now only one, I stayed there for 14 years. I've been a clear, I've come to say, now only one, I stayed there for, when there are more than one dress of them that was there many years, that can also be able to say that. What people are saying is lie. People are talking about the victims. What are the people that came out and said that the victims are lying? Someone was asking me, Mama, are you there? Why are you saying that they are not? Don't say that they are lying. I said, no, I'm not there. They said their own documentary, but other people are coming out to say that they are lying. So who am I going to believe? I'm going to believe the majority that said that they are lying. Because why? Because me, I know be so lying before saying a liar. I'll be so lying and they're poor. I go my will come and come talk anything me. I will believe for my life. Am I okay? That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one has madness now for me to believe anything that comes out from the mouth of it or Bisola. Okay, so may I play? May I play this uh, this video for us? May we listen to waiting this our brother? This our brother talk concerning waiting in in experience. Let's listen to him. Let's listen to this our brother. When the incident concerning Bishop T.D. Jakes and Prophet T.D. Joshua took place, I truly was very hungry and thirsty to know the truth. Okay. I did not seek after my flesh or information. I did not seek after man's information. I went directly to God, humbled myself and prayed. And God sent an angel and gave me the truth. Okay. The revelation behind the attacks. Okay. Almost two million people have watched it. As I was what is two million? Thinking, <laughs> the Holy Spirit came to me. More than ten million. So many million. people are asking this question, and the Lord wants you to speak it. Mm. This video I'm making has nothing to do with the other video that I did. Mm. The Lord gave me this particular truth to share to you. Mm. The incident that took place around Prophet T.B. Joshua, I want to hold on to that to tell you this. This, first of all, is a test of faith to Christianity. It's a test of endurance. It's a test of deception. Hmm. It's a test of truth. Hmm. And it's a test of Christianity. Hmm. The devil and his spiritual agents, they gathered, they talked about this. It took time for them to release this. Understand that when you see the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua, thank you, Samuel. He preached against offense and he preached the love of God a lot. Yes, that's why he preached. This is not about BBC at all. Don't go and attack BBC. That's the flesh. The Bible says you pray for them, for their eyes to be open. Mm. Now let the church the feet pray for those kind of people. <laughs> One thing the devil is like happening with Prophet Tibi Joshua, though he's in glory. <laughs> the double portion of Prophet Tibi Joshua is spreading around the whole world. Okay. Realize that those who came to BBC, <laughs> they were not normal Christians. These were people who walked with Tibi Joshua. Yes. These were disciples. Yes. Where in the Bible do you see disciples betraying? Jesus, Judas, yes, even Peter, yes, who was the head of the disciples, denied Jesus. Exactly. All the other disciples ran from him. Exactly. It was a test of their faith mm. to show how weak their faith was, how they needed to strengthen their faith. Mm. The devil's main attack to this is not just an attack to Christianity and servants of God. No. This has to deal personally with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Hmm. The mighty miracles, the healing, the deliverances, oh. the preaching of love. Hmm. All these things affected the kingdom of darkness like a tear gas in the atmosphere. Hey. 
So, the devil is not happy because the disciples of T.B. Joshua, after he's going to heaven, have spread around the whole world. The whole world! And they are doing a double of what he did. I I'm telling you! T.B. Joshua's wife. <laughs> a double of what he did. Okay. okay. So the devil says, if <laughs> I could not defeat T.B. Joshua <laughs> with 100% of the power of God, how will I be able to defeat the disciples oh. who have received a double? Oh. Jesus said that if you believe in me, you do what I do and do greater works. Greater works will you do? These disciples are doing greater works. Everybody. That's why the devil could not go to normal church attendees or congregations. At all. He went after the disciples. Exactly. Who were offended. Yes. Who were bitter. To come and destroy him. the relationship with Prophet T.B. Joshua in a bad way. Exactly. These are disciples who were rebellion. They were rebellion. Who did not want the way that was taught for them to practice to. At all. So the, the enemy was able to use them. <laughs> the Bible says sin was knocking at the heart of Cain. God said, don't let it control you. He did not accept it. But they accepted it. These are people who were offended. They left the church offended. So Satan took over offense and ruled their mind and see what took place. And TV shall preach against offense many times. So I heard this directly from heaven. Prophet TV Joshua is innocent. It was like a trumpet. Very, very innocent. innocent. Very, very. Then they say, then they know. The people that this is, is the know. problem we face in Christianity in some areas. Even the, we speak from the, the BCC people, they we know. We speak from what we hear from people. BBC we know. don't go deep and discern. They know. And so, I have heard so many messages concerning this Prophet TV Joshua. But some of the messages is like there's truth and there's revelation and also the flesh mixed together. Okay. It's not speaking what is right, but speaking what is of revelation. Mm. Because the Bible said the gates of flesh shall not prevail. Oh. Cursing BBC and cursing the disciples is not the will of God. At all. The will of God is for us to pray for them. Really? The spirits that were behind <laughs> this are watching to see how men and women of God and Christians are responding to it. Now, let's see if we just are keep praying for them. I wish it there. Greater like. attacks will come. Not be me. He said, watch that no man deceive you. Even when Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied that he was about to go to heaven, he said <laughs> something. He said, watch, watch and, and pray. pray. Why? The Bible says that deception is the main weapon of the devil. Exactly. He still kill and destroy by deception. So it's not about him attacking the church because the true church of Jesus Christ is not attack. At all. It's built on the foundation. Hmm. These are Christians who are not built on rock, who are built on sand, mm. who are shaky in their faith, who are backsliders and lukewarmers. Mm. And those who hated TV Joshua who come up and speak from the flesh. And those who hated the prophetic ministry who come up and speak from the flesh. So is this is not just about Prophet TV Joshua and BBC and the disciples of Prophet TV Joshua. This is also exposing ourselves to how we respond and react to situations like this when it comes to Christianity. Let me tell you this. Prophet T.B. Joshua fasted 40 days and 40 nights without food just to give birth to the prophetic ministry in the 80s. Hmm. Me being a young prophet, I have gained so much from it. I acknowledge Prophet T.B. Joshua as one of the mentors in my life hmm. in the prophetic ministry and in the world when it comes to love and charity. I have embraced it in my life. No prophet in this time should come out and say that Prophet T.B. Joshua is not an impact in their life. T.B. Joshua has impacted the prophetic ministry. And because the prayer that he prayed, that the ministry of the prophetic will be purified, will be cleansed. And the use, like the days of Prophet Elijah and David and Moses, the prophetic ministry is about to go through transformation. Hmm. The enemy is afraid. They are afraid. So, we must first of all, go deep in prayer. Sensitive to the voice of God. That was the circuit of David's victory, the voice of God. That hmm. was my secret. It took me many years, 12 years to be able to discern the voice of God and how to speak it. Like I'm speaking to you, my voice is not there. It's the voice of God. So that when you hear, you are not condemned, you are convicted. Mm. You are awakened. 
you are thinking on how to go about there is one the word that this our brother said that really interests me he said the same thing the other man of god said yesterday that the gospel of god is spreading around the whole world through the disciples of tb joshua and that is the more reason why these bbc people the demon themselves targeted the the you no know, the the bitter hearts among the disciples the one that has been hurt when they left there among the disciples because those are the main things the main for the main tools that they can be able to to use to you not know, to to bring down the they think that that is what they can be able to use but they not forgot that it's like the people that that did the bbc something and those people that gave them the the interview they never told them that tb joshua has a lot of disciples like this or they thought if they should do this it will destroy all the disciples i don't know because the disciples that tb joshua has there are too many and they are all doing signs and wonders and they are everywhere they're all over the world how are you going to convince and, and make those people not believe that the man they stay with they live with for 20 years for 15 years for 18 years 13 years that is fake that will be it will be a joke of the year you understand me that will be, be a joke of the of the year today because there is nothing that we ever made those disciples that me i am seeing that are coming out of different each other there is nothing we ever make them to ever look imagine it at all to even imagine it it's not possible even me, i'm standing here to you know the name you are calling me eh? it's not possible you understand so even imagine it, so they will not even imagine it. And that is why. It's not possible. So they are accepting it. Yeah, you are very young. You are, you are going out with eh? God. God bless them. I mean, I have problems with... Yeah, no. Let's listen to what this... Because these are the people that we are really finishing TV Joshua. Yeah. This very man. And there are many of you who are following that path. I came here to warn you. To let you understand that your time is up. You who are parading yourselves as prophets and arrogated divine honors to yourselves, you take the Bible, God's word, and you analyze it and you intellectualize it and you bring confusion into the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You mock the things of the Lord. You have become a scorner. Picato cum in profundum veneris contemnet. <laughs> when a man comes to the depth of the wickedness of his sin, he becomes his corner. He's amused by spiritual things. And that is what you have become. You have called yourself a teacher, a pastor, even though there is no pattern here that involves you. And mm -hmm. God did not appoint you. And Jesus did not appoint you. Do you not know that this word is called the Logos? It is God himself. <laughs> and you, that woman, you call yourself a prophetess. That is the wife. I want to remind you of what God did to your grandmother, Jezebel, and how he threw her from her balcony. Oh, God, you are going to dance this goal. of the four-footed beast. That God has not changed. In the New Testament, he says, I will kill her with death, and that is the spirit of Jezebel. See, oh, God, I came to warn you that your time is up. All of you that have brought that confusion, and are calling yourselves by names that God did not arrogate to you. <laughs> and you do this fight to the spirit of grace. I came here to warn you, just like I warned Joshua 20 years ago, that your time is up. You don't even have any time. Now this, now this speaking the tongue. Now this matter they deceive me. Follow us. So don't say be receiving man of God. They don't know say that this could take a man. May go back to miss me. Go the dark. Pastor said no even fitter. This tongue when they speak, we know say a fake. Cause that one a language when he said no even fitter translate. You know even nothing they talk. You know they talk about what they talk. What can I know? You know fit translator. Tim Joshua they write. If they write in tongues, Tim Joshua. If they write, you know only they speak in tongues. If they write in tongues, you won't come use your say they compare person where they write in tongues. You won't you won't come use your say they compare who they write in tongues. I will not see that video that when I show now. Wait, I say he not go school, but when you go to the same people, they write, they speak in tongues. You know, they ask they say, ah, can you translate what you speak? You cannot even translate it. You cannot even explain. Nobody can even hear you. 
But if they write in tongues, then this one they call it. I taught Joshua that uh, that is time uh, 20 years ago. But Joshua, you taught Joshua 20 years ago. The Joshua still lasted 20 years. 20 years don't be my mind. When uh, Archbishop did that, tell and say, if not real man of God, it's not going to last. If, if not be real man of God, it's not going to last seven days. It lasts 30 years more. Since when it does, I said, talking. Teachers have lasted more than 20 years or 30 years more. That is not to know a real man of God. So look at who, look at who, look at who is talking to TV Joshua. He never said for Sia. Oh, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall descend into Sian. the blackness and the darkness of this judgment. Sian. And if you do not turn away from your acts of insubordination and Sian. your intransigence against the thrice holy God, he will smite you into the dust, and his people will praise his holy name. That is why he not blue. Who sits upon the throne, surrounded by the rainbow of his magnanimity, Sian. his benevolence, and of his beneficence. Before him are the seven fires of his ubiquitous spirit, and we see the crystal sea of his sacrosanct vicinity. We hear the seraphic chanting of the doxology in the heavenly places. Holy, holy, holy. This are, okay, did you, did you even understand anything from what this man is saying? This man is just out of this earth. He's just saying things that nobody understands. These are the manipulation and the confusionists among pastors. Very confused man. <laughs> Crystal Cotty. <here. laughs> music. He not blow for music. He not blow. I go blow. <laughs> this thing is this in my night gets. He not blow for music. He said now church. Now he won't open. He open church. Me not even know the name of his church. Nobody even know the name of his church. He not blow because he's not popular. I mean, I don't know if I say Crystal Cotty get a, get a revival for, for America or for UK or for Houston the other day. Eze, this Eze, this man Eze, he go Houston. My children go that very, that very crusade for Houston. Now that man you say, Crystal Kote come up for Nigeria, travel out of Nigeria, say they go any crusade as the rest mates in pastors they do. <laughs> he never come up for they no blow. He said a politics. Now only he want he and his wife and his children never vote, never vote for him. <laughs> Even the church members said they not even trust and say he go deliver. As a politician, he's a confusionist, he's confused, frustrated. The whole thing is why don't put in hand. See music in our blow, a church in our blow. He won't become president, nobody vote for him. Only he won. I know confused. I know carry all the frustration. Come put for TV Joshua body. Eh? Because this video was after when the children is late. Then they talk and I say, I told Joshua 20 years ago. Just so that you are not taking the glory. You are not taking the glory. Oh, I told you now. Yeah, is that as if you are God. <laughs> if you are still alive, Christ, so God is giving you a chance to repent. Till Joshua have went to meet the Lord. The angels came and took him. You understand me? So it's not time for you to repent. Stop you no know, destroying the name of the man of God that he has got to meet the Lord in the glory. Why I really not say Till Joshua a real man of God. At least after when this man does see God sees it, you not go live for making rest. But they refuse. <laughs> Because that man not mind them. You know, I said that that silence. Wait till you Joshua silent, eh? Oh God. That silence. That silence of Tini Joshua. Now the way. That's what Joshua took and say, eh? If you won't read deal with these people, eh? Don't answer them. If you if you if you really want deal with them, make it really paint them where well, where well, eh? Not answer them. Not follow the uh, argue. Not follow the argue. I don't follow the argue. Just leave anything they talk, tell, just they look there. No, they, no, they, they're not come, no, they'll call the man to say, ah, what if this man plan? This man not just the man also. I'll be in get another place. So they will not know your plan. Say, especially when you not mind them. Say, but when you mind them, it's like you have given them the power, you know, to come and be and be and be knowing your, your plans. That is their problem. That is also the problem of this very man. What is his name? Uh, Chris Okoti. Anyway, Sha. Make I leave us for here because uh, me I leave us for here. Cause time is going time don't they go almost to level. Me I leave us for here. Thank you very much, everyone. Please share this video. I have problem with my Facebook because they give me strike because of uh, one video concerning this TV show. I was talking 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 about it yesterday. So maybe they will remove this. That is why my view is going down because of the strike. What they give me? Say I post one video. That very video. Not be let me one. They give a lot of people. For the girl one woman where they give strike, I can't even they pity that one instead of to pity myself. Because that woman get almost 
200,000 followers, they give and strike. And I just say, me, I just pass, I just see and say, they give and strike. I tell you, no, the same video when me post, then she still post. We do they for give me strike, then they for still give us strike. I know Bioleos, a lot of people posted that video. That was the mistake I make. I thought I said, I know they post people video, but that video, I don't know what to make me post. Them. I was excited when I see the video. Now I just wrote post them. This time of this TV, Joshua, they give all of us strike for that video. But no problem. Not, nothing spoil. We are still alive. Life goes on. It's not the end of life. Very soon, the strike will still come out. It's not forever. Okay? Share this video. Give me love and like. I want to help me share. Share this video. Give me love and like. Keep on. Thank you. Thank you, Marvelous Chuchi. Thank you. Samuel Dan Ebi. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. Me a hello now. Sarah Bondela. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah Bondela. Thank you, Sarah. Amarachi. Thank you, Amarachi. Friday. Oh, Google. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you, Friday. Was Nicholas. Thank you. This was a foreigner. So, Mike Ellis Segba. That's this was a foreigner. Foreigners, now you go see. Now foreigners, you go see. Emmanuel Egel Kuchuko. Thank you. Thank you. All of them are foreigners. They are all foreigners. They are all for all of them. They are foreigners. Samuel Dan Ebi, foreigners. They are all foreigners. Before you go see, they are not even Nigerians. They are all foreigners. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Juliet Prosper. Thank you, Juliet. Elvis Oviewo. Thank you, Ministry. Thank you. Happy weekend. Thank you, Juliet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please share this video. Give me love and like. We'll see you again this time tomorrow, okay? Thank you, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye.